Hello again, I am Blunty. This isn't really the uh, the video I was going to make today. I was going to produce a review of some home theatre equipment that I've been testing out, but I've read an article online that just got me so worked up I couldn't help but make a video about it. And this is kind of related to something you guys have asked me to talk about again and again and again. A lot of you out there are familiar uh, with the fact that Australia doesn't have an R18 rating or an adult-based rating for video games, which effectively bans... Uh, a lot of titles from from being sold here, and there's been you know lots of media going on about this on gaming sites and gadget related sites and everything. Lots of people are talking about it. Um, what a lot of people don't realise from outside of Australia, at least, what a lot of people don't realise is this isn't the government banning these games. This isn't some uh, uh, campaign to to keep these games out of Australian hands. It basically boils down to the actions of one man, South Australian Attorney General Michael Atkinson who is, in my opinion, a massive bag of smashed assholes. <laughs> Basically, he's, the, he's an Attorney General. If you don't know what an Attorney General is, go to Wikipedia, look it up. And Michael Ackett's an epic douchebag that he is, seems determined never to acknowledge the fact that the vast majority of gamers, statistically, and there have been lots of research about this, are adults, 25 to 35. That's where the vast majority of gamers are. We are adults, we deserve to be, be able to make our own choices about the kind of entertainment we have available to us, and the kind of entertainment we choose to buy. Just because there's an R18 rating doesn't mean, automatically mean that children are going to be exposed to child porn and things like that in games. It's ridiculous and retarded and it boils down to this one guy Michael Atkinson Attorney General of South Australia because in order to get a rating for for adult based games for for adult rating games and R, R rating or an R18 rating for games all the attorney generals from every state in Australia have to agree Michael Atkinson doesn't anyway so that's the background on Michael Atkinson the the article I read today is he's sort of snuck a law in uh, yesterday or the day before, snuck a law into South Australia, tried to slide it under the radar. Um, and it basically says that any R18 rated film, we do have R18 rating for films, which makes it even more ridiculous we don't have one for games, but he's, he's put a law into place in South Australia, which means anyone who sells or rents a film that has an R18 rating, they can't sit it on the shelf like normal next to the other films in the same category. They have to bag it up basically and the only thing visible on the cover should be the title and I'm not talking about porn here when I say R18 rating I'm talking about films like Three Kings critically, uh, critically acclaimed movies like Three Kings like Fight Club that sort of film they carry R18 ratings really think about that for a moment think of Fight Club R18 rated movie think of the cover of Fight Club it's a bar of soap with Fight Club written on it how is that offensive if you don't want to put that plain bag and, and just have the name of the movie on it, you have to have an entirely separate, closed-off area of your store or, or rental place. Much like porn, there's a secret little room you have to sneak into to get access to these movies. So you get one of two choices. And it is ridiculous. And the really good thing about Michael Atkinson, batshit insane, ultra-conservative, bag of smashed arsehole, douchebag, wanker, fucking prick... The good thing about him trying to sneak this under the radar and, pe and media going, hey, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, and the film industry going, hey, what, 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 what? when did this happen? We only heard about it yesterday. Like, literally, <laughs> film distributors heard about it yesterday before the law went into effect. And they're like, hang on a second. Hey, Michael, you didn't talk to us about this. Uh, listen, if this law goes into play and it has gone into play, that basically means that you're really damaging our bottom line here. It, it restricts people's access to these, these perfectly acceptable movies. I mean, given a rating by the Australian Ratings Board, they are legally able to be sold, and you're doing this to try and hide them from people. That's going to hurt our bottom line. And you know what? As one of the biggest entertainment industries in the world, that's, that's annoying. That's, in fact, we're kind of pissed off about it. And this is just great because it brings even more media attention onto this idiot Michael Atkinson, this massive, massive moron, this massive ignorant bastard who just refuses to listen to the research that's been done about this kind of stuff that absolutely refuses to acknowledge it. It's just la 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 la, not hearing you, not hearing you. Guess what, Michael? It's your job to serve the Australian people. If we tell you vehemently enough, we tell you loudly enough, we express our opinion in a sensible way to you about this kind of stuff, it's your job to listen to us. That's why you're there. You wanker. So I'm very excited that Michael Axon is trying to sneak this stupid law under the radar in the movie industry and entertainment industry and go, hey, wait, 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 what the hell are you doing? Are you insane? Are you batshit insane? Listen, we're going to have to sit down and have a chat about this. In fact, we're bringing the full force of our might down on you, Michael Atkinson. 
That's not good enough. We're, this isn't China. Yet. <laughs> Some people are trying to turn Australia into China. It was internet censorship and all that sort of bullshit. We have to do something about this. And this kind of stuff is brilliant for just exposing that moron. For the moron that he is. So media, people out there, movie fans, get on this. Publicize it. Spread the link around. The link is in the description on this video. Just, just push it everywhere it needs to go. Get people all riled up about this because it's really time to do something about Michael Atkinson. He is just, he's not representative of us as Australians, as adult, consenting, intelligent Australians who want to make our own decisions. That guy does not represent us. Ever. I don't know how he got to be where he is, but he shouldn't be there. Now we have even more ammunition to go, Oi! He <laughs> goes, look at this idiot. Look at this douchebag. Why is he in power? Why does he have this power? Time to get rid of him. Catch you next time.